Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in 1 John chapter 2, verse 24. See that what you have heard from the beginning remains in you. If it does, you also will remain in the Son and in the Father. What have you heard in the beginning? We are told, friends, that what we have heard in the beginning should remain in us. Well, in the beginning, we have heard about the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. That there is no other way to heaven but through the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus himself had said that unless a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. We have heard about that. And we embrace it. We receive it. And we are born again. And so we are told today, friends, that if this truth remains in us up to now and until the end, we are told, friends, that we shall remain in the Son and in the Father. That we are indeed born again. It's not just in the beginning, friends, that we confess that we are born again. And along the way, well, maybe we have changed course. Maybe we drifted away. So that the Son is no longer with us. The Father is no longer with us. Because we have pursued something else. So, friends, we are told that what we have heard in the beginning, where, where we were so convinced, friends, that that was the truth and the only way for us to get to heaven, let's keep it until the end. Amen. Let's continue to walk in it and be born again until the end so that the Father and the Son will remain in us. Friends, yes, we got to endure until the end. What you have heard, friends, don't forget. Amen. The same seal, the same blood that you, you have in the beginning, friends, when, we've, when you were so excited to serve the Lord, it should remain in you. Amen. So how would we know, friends, that indeed what we have heard in the beginning is still with us? Well, again, go back to your first love. Amen. Jesus said that. Go back to your first love. Do you still have the same love? Do you still serve the Lord the same way? Well, friends, go back and see what happened in the beginning. And if it's still happening today, well, friends, you can be sure that it remains in you. The message that you have received is still in you. Amen. So, friends, again, let's check ourselves. Nobody else would know, friends, what's in our hearts but us. We can pretend that we are still the same. That we are still in love with the Lord, but maybe in our hearts, no more. We just do things automatically now. No longer done out of our love for the Lord. No longer the same seal as we used to have. Friends, today is our examination day. Check it out. Check yourself. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May He lift up His countenance and give you His peace. His alone. God bless. See you next time. Bye.